What is going on guys today? We are looking at team of the season Insigne. He is coming in at about 284 at the moment. Obviously, a lot of player picks are being opened and they are absolutely cracked. We've had a look at a few streamers and they're just for everybody. They're giving out team of the seasons. Obviously, a lot of the lower rated ones, Skriniar, uh, Berardi, you've got then Deriv I've seen a couple of times, but we have seen Martinez a, a handful of times. So hopefully we do get someone like that. Same as having to buy them, but Insigne is the next one as we're going to link in with a mobile or a mobile however you want to pronounce it and to be honest insignia is looking pretty pretty decent i think in every sort of kind of version i've really enjoyed him um he is a very very small kind of almost i like him as a striker but we're going to be using him as the left mid just to see what he's all about there he is five foot four high medium on the work rates and he is a four star four star with outside of the foot shot uh, outside of the foot trait and finesse shot as well as the stats look absolutely incredible great agility balance as well as acceleration all maxed out we've got ball control maxed out we've got long shots maxed out other than that everything is pretty much high 90s by the looks of it we are going to be whacking that marksman on which we actually bought him with it which is always fantastic that will give him if i quickly look at footbin 97 shooting 99 dribbling and 81 physicality turn him into a 97 left wing 96 cam as well as center forward or a 93 center for uh, 93 striker so honestly he looks brilliant he's going to be very agile very quick to turn and i'm hoping that he can score a few goals for us so let's jump in and see what this right footed left mid can do and Sinier down the wing find in a mobile who's going to find in Sinier again can we get the little ball into his right foot we're going to get ai blocked quite easily down there that wing we got chasing lazaro is the right back oh, that's an awful ball to him we got Lazaro as the right back, obviously, again, very, very quick. The kind of pace element is not necessarily gone, but it's very hard to come by with, obviously, all of the team of the season fullbacks that we've got. Senio powering down this wing. What can we find with him? We've got chasing. Oh, it's Lazaro. Of course it is. Lovely. Get the one, two. Ah, oh, Cantona just in the way of Barella there. Insigne right where he left off, going down this wing, but we are putting it out of play. Does feel very, very quick on the ball, which is always very nice. I do like uh, DePaul for that. Does feel incredibly quick with that acceleration. On his bike, going to go for that one two again with a mobile or a mobile. What can we find? We see a mobile in the middle. Love it. Little rainbow. Oh, it's a good tackle. Just coming in hot there. Insigne once more can see that Ronaldo is absolutely went for it. Oh, I feel like we could get a, we could get a penalty if it decides to actually give me my rainbow flick. One more. Ah, just gets in. Roberto Carlos is going to take it. Goes for the strike and it's a fantastic goal across. Obviously, Insigne doing a lot of the good work there with a couple of skill moves. Nothing too fancy, but then the ball does go away, and it, Roberto Carlos is just always there to pick up the pieces. Whether he's worth 280 is the big question. I think he's definitely worth 200. 280 seems a little bit of a stretch at this point in the game when more than likely we'll find so many good SBCs, or hopefully good SBCs to kind of do and put our fodder into from these upgrade picks. Going to find him again. He's going to find in CR7 who's going to bury one home for us. Insigne. Oh, why are we going that way? I wanted it inside. Find it back to him though. Oh, keeps it. Keeps it again. All the way. All the way. All the way. Yeah, come on. Oh, Insigne. How on earth do you miss that? All the way with it. Ball roll. We got a bit of roulette in there. Was trying to get a rainbow flick as well. But honestly, how on earth does he manage to, to put, not put that away? Mobile. Go away from it. 
just literally trying to slide at every moment. It'd be nice to be able to get a free kick right on the edge. I think Insigne's free kick should be relatively nice. From what I can remember of his other cards, he genuinely should have a lovely little, uh, lovely little free kick on him as he sees it past one. And that's going to be another penalty. You don't do that. I ju it just keeps on sliding. Don't get what he's getting from it. But we managed to pull another penalty. And we will give this one to Insigne. As he is a high rated penalty taker still. We're going to go for the little chip. Hey, all day, every day. Insigne's back post, swipes it in, gets the header, what a save, lovely, lovely save, he's not known for his heading, but we thought we'd give him that shot, maybe we get a cheeky little volley, or oh, a mobile going for it, Insigne winning that, find it back into him, rainbow, little flick, little flick, ah, not quite, he's going to take that though. Over to keeper, and thank you very much. Oh, it's into him again. A mobile's found him. What can we find? Oh, there's no way. Absolutely stunning stuff from Insigne there. Just ticks it underneath the keeper, and it's just again another slot home. Lovely. Lovely. Goes for the finesse. Oh, that pings. Beautiful power behind that one. So going into Insigne's overall. He's 274 at the moment. We got him for about 284 at the, at the earliest, um, about 30, 40 minutes ago. So he has dropped down 10k since. More than likely will continue to drop down as we go through to squad battle rewards. And then obviously as we go through more and more of upgrade packs. They seem to be paying out, so hopefully we can get ourselves a lot of these Serie A team of the seasons and probably as many duplicates as possible to put into more SBCs. We've got to do Fred, Paco, we've got to finish off Lozano. I want to get nine golden out for you, so there's a lot to go with. And obviously then we do have the Air Divisier and CSL ready to come in on Monday. Insigne though, again, four informs, one road to the final. Last year we got a rare, what is that? That's a scream and an inform with his team of the season. Two informs and a group stage the year before that. We got an SBC and an inform with a team of the season. Four informs before that. As you can imagine, we've had a lot of good uh, Insigne cards. He's 29 years old, so we've got a few more years left. He has li literally only played for Napoli in terms of FIFA career, starting at FIFA 13, where the first man of the match came out, as well as then FIFA 14 with the man of the match. He is a, is a decent player. In terms of FIFA, he, he comes clutch. He gets himself some in forms they're quality he's a small player very agile very dribbly and he really can move it around now you added that acceleration onto him he's a lovely left wing honestly i feel that like you could play center forward cam with him but i actually quite like the pace on the wing he really really puts the defenders to the test and manages to get past a quite a lot of them which is always nice plus then the cut inside of him is incredible his lovely finesse shot trait comes up absolute clutch with obviously the 90 is it 99 in the end his 98 shot power it absolutely adds some fizzle onto that ball with the marksman you'll end up with 99 dribbling 97 shooting and 81 physicality like i say turn him into almost a 90 what is that 90 yeah just under a 97 as such in terms of rounding it up but an absolutely incredible player nonetheless I think for 274, it's an absolute steal to go and try and, uh, try and pick him up. But I will wait because that is still going to come down. I'd suggest probably Thursday. Uh, Thursday, just after awards have come out, more than likely that's going to be the lowest. Because after that, there is maybe a very little chance of him going down, I suppose. Um, obviously, I don't don't say that that is 100%. Because it could be that this year, this week, that's what they do. They go down after rewards, after after rewards. But I can imagine that's going to be his lowest in terms of where you want him. And then it all depends on what SBCs come out at 6. Which I think on a Thursday normally is only marquee matchups. But who knows. Overall wise for him, I'm going to give him a solid 9.4 out of 10. Let me know down below if you've played with him or what you think about him. Make sure you